I'm Keith Ruff, and today we have a diecast view of Kyle Larson's 2016 Michigan win. His first win ever in the NASCAR Smoke Up Series. This is probably the, uh, I already have the car out of the box. Um, it's just, I'm um, going to show you all the stuff. But uh, So let's go ahead and go over the box. I got 2016 race winner, Rhino Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. 2016, here's his Michigan win car. We got Michigan International Speedway winner. You may pause and read that if you would like. It says standard finish here. On this side you have the NASCAR logo sticker. Authentic racing collectibles. 16. Be sure to register your car's DIN number at www.finalracing.com. National Racing Collectibles. Stores Race Champions. On this side you have race version. NASCAR Spark Up Series. Lionel Racing. The official diecast of NASCAR. 2016 race schedule. Um... This is the win he won at Michigan. Uh, he got 124 scale uh, stock car limited edition adult collectible. Kyle Larson, 42 target Michigan first win 2016 SS 787 NASCAR Spunk Up Series standard finish winner sticker action racing collectible still choice champions. On the top we have. Checker flag, NASCAR Spark Up Series winner, sticker, and race version. On the bottom, you may read this if you would like. Pause it. And pause it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our, go over the other stuff. So first off, Get congratulations from Lionel on our purchase. Now we got the um, return form, which I do not need that. Definitely, I'm not not getting rid of this diecast the way it looks. It's awesome. Then we have a little thing of confetti. Supposedly, it's from Victory Lane. I don't think so, honestly. I mean, maybe it is, but you would have thought it been wet. Or looking stained up and stuff, but that's fine. And we have the tr the car or the card. We got Michigan International Speedway Kyle Larson with his trophy. NASCAR Spunk Up Series. Kyle Larson, Pure Michigan 400 winner, Brooklyn, Michigan, August 28, 2016. Time of race: two hours, 27 minutes, and 29 seconds. His starting position was 12th. Total laps for 200. Number of cautions 4 for 17 laps. Number of leaders 13. Laps led by winner 41. Margin of victory 1.478 seconds. Driver career wins was his first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series win. <coughs> so Larson stays out front on late restart for first win. Here is race version. And you may read the rest. Just pause it and read that. Okay, so let's get to the good thing, the car. This is the most awesome race version car I've ever seen. <clears throat> it definitely has to be the best race version of the year. Here it is. Wow. Doesn't that look cool, guys? Look at all the damage there. All the damage over here. All the dirt. Just confetti and everything. It just looks awesome. Let's go ahead and go to sponsors. As Chevy, Larson, Target, 42, Chevy, Sh Chevy logo, Chevrolet SS, Chip Ganassi Racing, Goodyear, and the Goodyear Eagles, you have NASCAR Race Car, 3M Mechanics Wear, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Durlast, Mo One, Coors Light Pole, Sherman Williams, IR, Lincoln Welders, and Slow Master. And you have American Flag up here, Kyle Larson, his winner sticker. Champion, McDonald's, Cessna, and something else. I can't tell what that is because there's a piece of confetti over it. Got Milkbone, LED, Tums, Reese's, and them too. I can't tell. Oh, I'm sorry. Got Clorox, Axe, Belkin, Sherman Williams, Kmart, and Lincoln Motors. And you have American Ethanol, Crest, Banana Boat, and Target. Can't really make out the crest because 
Hold up, it was, it's so bent up and messed up. It's really good. In the back, you have Chevy SS, Energizer, the little Target puppy dog. You got 42, Coca Cola, Cottonelle. And on this side, it's the same as the other. So, really cool car. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the DIN number on this 657. Out of 900 or 787. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back of the car. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Probably can't. That's alright though. Now you can see the roof flaps deploy. And then we see, I'm gonna attempt to get the hood up. I do not got good nails. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna damage the car. Hold on real quick. Hmm. I don't think I can do it. Sorry guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over the paint scheme. It's pretty simple. It's red on it looks really good though. It's pretty simple but it looks good. Um it's red on top, transforms to a little bit of pink and then turns to white. And then you got the target symbols all around the bottom of the car. I personally like that. I think this car is one of the best looking cars out there in twenty sixteen. To me. Really. Just looks good. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over the good stuff. The raced, raced version stuff. Like, all the race markings. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over the top of the car. Back here, you have a bunch of confetti over the Coca-Cola. You have some uh, confetti on the back of the car. Confetti on the top of the car. And you can see on the 42 a little bit. There's, there's some, like, dirt slash, like, Coke. Coca-Cola and all that stuff they had in Victory Lane they celebrate it with. You can see a little bit of that on top. Now up here, I'm going to make this, guys, or make this out. See the sun visor, the black thing? It comes down a little bit farther than it usually does. So, uh, it, that's because it was at a bigger track and there's more sunlight to get to on the car. That's okay, that's cool. It's cool that detail like that. Okay, so now you can see just a bunch of long strands of confetti. See this blue one right here? Sorry. This blue one right here goes all the way out here, back here. It makes it look cool. I like that. And all the green, big strands of it, and then the patch of blue, little ones. Very cool. And then on the front of the car, you can see with the Target logo and the white. You can see a bunch of dirt. That's really cool. In front of the car, there was not no tape on it, but there's some dirt everywhere. And oh, up here, the tear offs on the car. See the tape for that. And I'm not sure if, see the, the splitter? When he went in the grass on his burnout, I mean, he did an awesome burnout. I think he might have bent it up a little, so that's pretty cool they detailed it like that. I think that's what they did. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let me show you the bottom of the car. Alright, you can make it out. See the tires? How shredded up they are? That is awesome. It feels cool. They did that. Just burn out in Victory Lane. Just, he burned it down. And really cool you can see see it mm, can you see it i don't know if you can but there's blue springs down there because the ca car bounces a lot yeah see that it bounces just a lot on that track michigan that big track see that that's what it's constantly doing at the race they're just i mean they're going not really like that they're just Boom, 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 boom. It's really bumpy. Oh, sorry, guys. 
Okay, let's go down the side car. We got a bunch of confetti and stuff. Really cool. This tire, you see all the brick dust in there and confetti and uh, them stickers. And this right here, you see all that dirt. It's really cool. And around this tire is where it really gets cool. A lot of tire build up because of that burnout he did. Um, and the tire is really shredded. It's really cool. You got some confetti in there. And then right here, I like how Lionel did that. Um, they cut off a piece of this panel right here. Like it should come down here usually, but they cut it off because he burnt down. He broke his car a lot during his burnout. That's right. All right, on the back of the car right here, I think he got nudged on the restart. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Let me see the scratch marks. Press side. Not as much confetti, but looks really cool with the blue strands. And over here, the quarter panel broke. All that black st uh, tire rubs all around it. Tire shredded. Got a lot of brake dust in there and them orange arrows. And you have right here where the exhaust is. It's caught fire a little bit sometimes. And this side right here on this white, you can tell a lot about the brake dust and all that dirt on the car. It's just really cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. This So let's see this tire, not much on it. Let's see that. Alright, I think it's gonna about conclude this video. I hope you guys hit that like button and please like and subscribe for even more. Thank you for watching.